so both of these hives I got uh, I got about maybe two weeks ago I've had them about two weeks they were five frame deep nukes and I haven't looked at them since then to see how much they built out when I lifted them earlier because I, I just moved them onto the stand they seem pretty heavy so it seems like they are probably making pretty good progress in here so I'm going to take a look and see if I have to add more space or uh, do anything like that. So they only had four frames drawn. Let's frame up. This one hasn't been built on yet, which I'm not too surprised. Usually the ones down on the end get the least amount of attention. I don't like working on those. These bees are a little edgier. You can just kind of tell they're ready to attack. And so this one's a freshly drawn comb. They already have cat brood in there, so that's really nice. The other side of this frame is not yet drawn. But this side is pretty much fully drawn and they have I would say maybe a third of the frame is brood. I'm going to turn this one around so that they build out this other side. Put it down on the end here. Normally, I don't like putting frames down on the end because it's harder for them to keep it warm. But the temperature around here has been pretty warm, so I'm not too worried about it. Take a look at this frame. This is a really nice frame. A lot of brood on here. There's cat brood, and then around the edges of the cat brood, there's young larva, kind of in a circular pattern. And she has a really nice laying pattern. The brood's really really close together, not staggered out. If you start seeing a uh, kind of a checkerboard pattern where there's an empty cell, a full cell, an empty cell, a full cell, it kind of means the queen's wearing out. There are always going to be some empty cells and they do that on purpose because those empty cells are used to help heat the brood. The bees will go down in those empty cells like these, right here, all these empty cells. That's for the bees to go down in there and what they'll do is they dislocate their wings and they vibrate their wing muscles really fast and it increases their temperature. They'll increase their body temperature up to 110 degrees and that will radiate out and keep that emerging brood temperature in the right range. Emerging brood or cap brood should be at about 93 degrees. With the larva it's not as critical. This hive has pretty much doubled since I installed it. Another good frame of brood. This queen is a great, a great queen is really packing in the brood. And that's what you want to see with a, a younger colony because they really need that population to go up as quickly as possible. Another frame of cat brood. Another frame of brood. Look at that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Young larva and brood and uh, cat larva. I don't really need to find the queen, but it would be nice to see her and thank her for all the work she's done. <laughs> when I got this nuke two weeks ago, it was four drawn frames and maybe two frames of brood. And now I have seven frames of brood and essentially nine drawn comb. Popul population doubled, the amount of brood doubled, and the amount of space they're covering doubled. This frame is not drawn on this side, so I'm going to turn this one around. This side is just honey. Alright, I'm going to take a look in the second nuke. The 
You can already see this one's similar, maybe even better. It looks like all these frames are kind of packed out with bees. It's not really drawn out. They're starting to draw it out though. Quickly look and make sure the queen's not on there. I don't see her. This one's drawn on one side. It's not drawn on the other. This one is looks like mainly nectar. I don't see any brood on this one. But I'll just turn it around so that the undrawn side is facing out. A lot of cat brood and a lot of young bees hatching. kind of trying to get all my splits in and then next year I'll be set up for good honey production. Are you going to do any extracting this year? I'm not planning on it. I'm no? putting all the resources to building up the population. Let's see, here's some drone cells. Oh, those there's domes? A, yeah. Oh, what lot. happens with the domes is they uh, because the foundation has 100% worker cells, the, the bees take a, a worker cell and they modify it and then they have to, it's too short so they build it past the, the worker cell length. So in a natural colony, they, if you let them build their own, they end up making more drone cells than the foundation allows. Yeah, look at this. I mean, they just... Build this Thank out. Very impressive. That's all young brood. It's all larva. The in, whole thing. In the, in the cells or the Yeah, look if you look it's kinda of hard to see, but if you look deep into the cells you can kind of see them curled up. Oh yeah, way down there at the bottom. Yep. Wow. If you look extra careful you can see see the eggs as well. Eggs are pretty hard to see because they're so small. Um, empty foundation frames. And this population is already big enough where I'm going to give them another super. a couple frames from this one too. So these two new kives I got two weeks ago, they're doing so well, I'm able to pull another nuke off of them. I'm going to take a few frames, a couple frames from each. I'll shake off some younger bees. And i got to make sure the queen's not on here. Got to look carefully. I don't see her. That'll get the old bees going home young bees will stay here. So that's a four frame loop now. I removed two frames for a feeder. Put a, a undrawn foundation in the middle. A lot of people don't like separating the brood nest, but I found that it greatly increases the area the queen will lay in. Because if you put, if you put an empty foundation in the middle of their brood nest, they're not gonna fill it with honey. They're gonna put brood in there. And that's what happened with this one. When I got the, when I installed the new hive, I put foundation in between, and the brood nest for a, 
a colony that's this small, I believe it's seven frames of brood. That is very impressive. Um, so the way I did it now, the next time I come here, in probably a week, these two will be drawn out and they will most likely have brood in them. So I'm gonna give these guys a medium super. I'm gonna put a, a mated queen in here and they're not reacting too great to her, but she should be protected in there.